Hello everyone. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create equal height columns. So, for example, in a previous lesson we created this layout. And let's imagine that now we want to make the sidebar have a gray background. So, let's open up our style sheet. Find the side column and we'll give it background color of gray. Now, as you can see, um, this method of applying background colors to columns is problematic because a lot of times designers want the column to extend down to the bottom of where all the columns would meet. And there are a lot of different ways to get equal height columns. Um, but I'm just going to show you one method that relies on background images. So I've already created, let's see, I've already created the image. It's the width of our entire container, and it's only about 10 or 20 pixels high because we're going to repeat it vertically. So let's go to work. Instead of applying it to the side column, we're actually going to apply it to the parent column or to the parent container. So if we open up our HTML file, we see that the element that contains our two columns is the body div. So we're going to add this to our body div. So background URL. What we're doing here is uh, since we're writing the code in our CSS file and we're in this directory, the two dots and the slash tell web browsers to go up a directory and then obviously this the slash images means to go inside this folder. So then it's bg body tile.jpg. And this is the important part. We want to align the image to the top and more importantly we want it to repeat along the y-axis so it'll repeat vertically. So we save and refresh Firefox and now we have an equal height column background. And you can use this in a lot of instances. Um, the background image is only about one kilobyte, so it's not really going to hurt the performance of your website. And it's just a great method to have up your sleeve. All right, thank you very much.